Welcome back, everybody, to more Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. In the last one, we got here to the gambling country and we got tricked out of our money in a simple dice game. In this one, we're gonna try to uh, find some evidence that this town is full of cheaters and nothing else. Let's see what we got at the first table. Bantu, what are you up to? <laughs> yeah! There's plenty of fun to be out in a place like this, even lad. Hey, I could spend an hour or ten in here, if you let me. Cool. Let's see. Pro, what are you finding? We had a place like this back home too. I guess some things are the same no matter where you go, huh? I guess so, but whatever. I thought I was supposed to talk to you, so sorry. Hmm, do you wish to know more about the dice use here at the casino? I can quite understand why you would. I suppose you'll be wondering at the admiring glances bestowed upon the bearers of these as auspicious items, yes. Alas, they are only granted to selected servant of the realm. You will not find them on sale anywhere, I'm afraid. Not even I, as a citizen of the great nation, will be able to obtain one. I would give up any dreams of owning one if I were you. I see. That's not what I wanted to hear. Hello, pretty lady. Hmm? What is the most remarkable quality of the casino, you ask? I suppose it's the croupier more than anything. They're all but impossible to outplay. No matter how good one's hand may seem, they always seem to find a way to turn tables. They must be blessed with an exhaustible reserve of good fortune. But this is no reason to give up. If I, too, pay regular obeisance to Lady Luck, the tide of fate will surely turn in my favor eventually. Wow, these people are gullible. <laughs> I mean, holy shit. Has anybody won? Like, once? Hello, sir. Have you won? It is not uncommon for wizards or kingdom to loudly decree the casino as a den of trickery. But this is a ridiculous assertion. They do not understand that it is owned and operated by the state. <laughs> Surely they do not think that the power that can be intervened to ensure that the dice always fall in their favor, such behavior would be an affront to Lady Luck, our holiest of holies. If you ask me, such complaints are nothing more than a winning, whining of sore losers. Yes. That should do it for now. I hope the other manager to find out some helpful clues as well. Hmm. Well, what do you know? The dice they use in there are the same as the one our friend the gatekeeper had. Mm. And it seems they really are a little fishy. <laughs> uh -huh. Arr, I'll be proud of that lad. This place is so crooked as a vibrant grin. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm going to be kind to you all. <laughs> You didn't, did you? Oh, you did, you big wally. I couldn't help myself. Standing by and watching while there's fun to be had? That ain't me, girly. And how much did you lose exactly? If you'll excuse me, little pry? Huh? Oh. Uh, mere pennies, little fella. Mere pennies. <laughs> right. Well, let's forget about our friend, the genius here, for a moment, shall we? There's something I want to show you, and I can't do it here, though. Shall we take this somewhere a little quieter? <sighs> sure. How about the lobby at the end? Okay. <laughs> Goddamn. Baldur's gigantic fat bird that he brought down. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Look at it. Holy shit. I hope that doesn't say anything about how much he's owing now, because if our tiny bird is 10 million and his bird, <laughs> it's gonna ruin me. Our country is gonna be in death our whole life. It would be awful. See! Oh, it's the guy from the entrance. Hey! <laughs> Good offer you, but you must not worry. 
It happened to all of us. Simple. Simply work hard and you emerge from this spot of bad fortune soon enough. I don't know, 10 million? It's kind of a rough, <laughs> rough start. Oh my god, that lady looks <laughs> psychopathic. <laughs> welcome, dearest, welcome. Oh, no. Um, would it be possible to borrow the lobby for a moment or two? Oh, yeah. By all means, my lovely. By all means. Take all the time you need. <laughs> Did you hey. like my old woman sound? So, Tani, what was it you wanted to show us? <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite little scalawag only went and swiped herself a dice. Nani? Huh? Nani? <laughs> you mean you stole one? Ha! Stole, borrowed, whatever helps you sleep at night. Anyway, I got something very interesting to show you. This is how they've been doing it, huh? <laughs> the scurvy much blocking our path to Pugnacious. Had the same dice, so he did. Yes. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go tell him his secret is out. Yeah. He'll just deny it. Besides, it's better that he doesn't know that we have it for now. I guess, but holy shit, I would like a die like that. <laughs> it's amazing. I see. Where you're going? Very crafty. I like it. So, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> tidy. Then, Bob's your uncle. Way. What? Well, best plan in the flipping world, right? But, but, would it really work? Hmm. You know, it's a little risky. But I think it just might. Yes, Tidy. That's that side then. Leave it to your old pal, Lofty. Let's go and pay Gary Gateface a visit, shall we? Let's do that. Good old fashioned Gary Gateface. God damn, I hate. I hate this town. <laughs> they took all our money. Not yet, at least. Evan should, uh, Evan should really participate in some jumping competition. Look at the guy. Ah, oh, come on. Yay! <laughs> like three steps jumping. Okay. A pebble. Now all our problems are solved. Goddamn. Lady Fortune. Stupid goddamn citizen. <laughs> Hello. Nanda. Oh, what kind of voice there? You've come to repair your death, I assume? Damn it. Ne. No, I've I can't play another round. Hmm. As you wish. But now that you should lose for a fourth time, your death will grow still further. Oh, I'm not losing this time. Just cuts him. It's the only right thing to do. I'm counting on you, Lofty. Hiya. <laughs> さあ、どっちを選ぶ。うーん。赤だ。来た。作戦実行や。行くぞ。今や。<laughs> what a great plan. 
I will shoot my pickle right to die when it's in air and press the one button and everybody was like amazing idea <laughs> what deception is this you manipulated the die you must have how could we have done that exactly it's yours you rolled it what are you saying you had some nasty little trick up your sleeve and it didn't work hmm I Little trick? No, I... Girl, you have no proof! How dare you! What is all this noise, hmm? I'm guessing that's him. It was! Master Pugnacious! Mm. Well, well. Uh, what exactly is going on here? <sighs> you know better than to cause a scene so close to his eminence private chambers. Master Pugnacious, how glad I am to meet you at last. Oh, this is not his voice at all. <laughs> I miss it. We were seen here, sent here on an urgent business by Nial. Sorry about the little cat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But your stupid gatekeeper here tricked us into owing him a fortune, and he still won't let us in. <laughs> is this how Gold portraits his guests? Yali, yali. Forgive my foolish handling. If my good friend Nial sent you, it can't be no trifle matter. That much should have been plain. And to resort to base deceit, an unforgiving transgression. Your death will be annulled, of course. <laughs> lucky, lucky Batu. <laughs> But this is no place to talk. We will continue and ride. This one. Throw him in jail. Huh. Of course, Master Pugnation. No. But, but no! But yes! Better not drop the soap, doggy! Ha! <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> it's Hero Dog. Hello. So, anyway, of Neil, what brings you here? Hi. We come to ask that you return his forest to him. Hmm. Oh, but of course, he has sent you to beg for it on his behalf. And why would I simply return it? I won it from him in a game of chance. It was a fortune, will it? Oi. Was it? We couldn't help but notice how much cheating goes on in this supposed kingdom of chance. Mm? What, what are you implying? It was on the dice roll of Lady Luck herself that Nial gambled. Nani? Huh? Eee. A friend I thought may have been capable of base trickery, but the mystery of fortune, I think not. <laughs> so, he wasn't even playing with their piffling casino dice. Mm. No. The one we saw in the ceremony was much bigger. Ah. That doesn't mean some someone couldn't have messed with it. Yari, yari. It would have cost me our most sacred symbol of fuckery. It is preposterous idea, but you're welcome to examine her if it pleases you. But I would warn you to proceed with utmost care when doing so. The people of Gopo will not take such as how sort of interest lightly? Intrusion. Yes. Thanks. I think we'll take you up on that. Come on. Let's go see. <sighs> this, these outsiders do not know their place. Huh. Indeed, Master Pugnacious. We must be on our guard. Bother. I really thought we were onto something there. Uh. Ah, we're right back where we started. Yeah. Not quite. I'm pretty sure if we look hard enough, we'll find something not quite right with Lily Luck. Uh -huh. If you say so. 
Let's go and have us a gander, shall we? Oh my god. <laughs> I find myself struggling more and more with the voices. What a cute beard you have, Lady Fortune. <sighs> Bet you don't see many kingmakers doing this, eh? <laughs> nah. Have you found anything, Lofty? Mm -hmm. Nothing much, no. Unless you count the biggest flipping jumble of wards and uncharm and magical repelling doodads as I've ever seen in my life. Other than that, uh, wood's nice. All smooth and shiny. Yeah, it's called the stuff, this. So nothing's amiss at the first glance, huh? You can see why he was happy for us to come take a look. All those wards. And things could mean that you couldn't influence the role using magic, wouldn't we? Hmm. I guess so. What I'd really like to do is sneak a peek inside. But I get the feeling we wouldn't make ourselves too popular if we smashed the thing open. No. She's this outrage at once. Lady Luxe says that is no place for your pet to play. <sighs> He's a big guy. I can't ah. give him that voice. Oi. What you're calling a pet, Palo? Paleo? Hi. Master Pugnacious gave us permission to look at the Diane. Uh. Make sure there's no funny business going on. Oh, is that so? Very well. Very well. The degree to which he inserts Lady Lux's an impeccable integrity is admirable indeed. <laughs> it sure is. I bet a statue must take some serious looking after, huh? And that die too. Ah. Exactly, exactly. You're a young friend, but you understand much. We only recently, his eminence became concerned at a decidedly worn condition of the die we had always used, and it had it replaced with an entirely new one. Okay, that's weird. And no expense was spared in making it. He dispatched a delegation of our most highly respected craftsmen to the deepest part of the forest in search of the finest wood available. Oh. He did, huh? <sighs> ah. But let's no me chatter on. I'm sure you're busy enough already without me bothering you. Nice to meet you, young man. <laughs> he meant the forest of Neil, I suppose. Ah. Uh -huh. Seems like he's going uh, mid overboard, sending all those craftsmen so far out of the way, don't it? Mm. Don't you think it was them who stuck all those? Notice dingies on to the trees? I don't know. But I think we should go back there and uh, look around a little more. Yes. Alright, let's head back to the forest of Neil. And hunt for clues. Okay. Let us fast travel. <gasps> no! <laughs> Please! <laughs> Leave me be. Let's just get over here and inspect the forest. Hopefully we'll find some clues. Those goddamn sneaky craftsmen. Or maybe we'll find nothing. Come on, I can't even jump down from here? Ugh. What is this? Okay. Guessing I need another uh, Higgledy to get through there. I haven't seen any of the Higgledy uh, things yet, but. No, come on! Come on. Oh, this guy has a lot of that. Oh, this is how you escape. Nice. Hey. Come on, play. Yes. They said, you can win back the forest. They said, they didn't tell me you had to go all in. What the odds were 1,000 to 1 against. Too bad for you, dude. <laughs> I mean, if you're actually that gullible, that... When the die is like, it's a 6 to 1, and it happens twice in a row, and you still believe it, and... I don't know, you kind of... <laughs> Hello there. Oh! Ah, what kind of voice that? You're back, eh? 
How'd it go with old Puggy? Um, well, we didn't quite manage to get your force back yet. Oh. But we did find out that the game is rigged all the way to the top. You kn I knew it! The crafty wee roasters! Now, all we need to do is get some proof that there's funny business al afoot with the Lady Luck as well. Uh, you haven't noticed the uh, people from Goldpaw doing anything uh, strange in the woods lately, have you? Ah. Well, they were up to something over toward the uh, old woods there, but to be honest, there were so many of the beggars uh, traps in and out, I couldn't keep a track of it all. Yes. Maybe that's where they're making the dice. Hi. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Oh. Holy horses, laddie! You'll not be getting anywhere near the old woods unless you get past Quick and Grump. Mm? Uh, what's that? <laughs> it's a spell! Ye great bamboo! <laughs> You've never heard of it? Ah, kids these days! Here, I'll teach it to you. That's probably like the huge spiky balls that was in our way. Quick Grump's <laughs> Uh, and what kind of spell is this, exactly? Couldn't you now figure it out from the name? It makes plants grow fast. Cast the wee beauty on a teeny tiny seed, and it'll be a tree as tall as a house before you can blink. The part's a pain to get through down... Oh, uh, the part's a pain to get through down that way. If you sling that spell in a few toadstools, you'll find the going a good, a good bit easier. Thanks for the tip, Twigwig. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right out. Looks like we're, uh, we're off to the old woods. You're uh, old. I wouldn't sound so pleased about it if I were you. The monsters over that way have been a right pain in the neck lately. But I mean, now that we have that spell, we don't really need the forest. We can just plant shit over at our kingdom and it'll make it grow instantly, right? I mean, what's even the point anymore? <laughs> Let's see. Going over here. Probably. Hopefully. <laughs> ah, just keep going. No, there's no other way to go. Great. Okay, I'm probably gonna cut out this. You down, student? And he's dead. Oh, I, I didn't see that the mushroom had a face. That's kind of cool. Okay. Anyway, guys, that fight wasn't too bad, actually, even though we're way under level. But these new weapons are really... Oh! Really helping out a lot. Oh, I, I, I thought something was happening. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and they... Oh, yeah! Uh, like in the last game, we could ju like jump on mushrooms. Yeah. Oh! Not exactly alike, I think you had like a animation or something like that when you did it. But hey, it's still cool. Let's see, we're getting down. What? That's it? Okay, I went <laughs> I went the wrong way apparently. It says here that you go Oh nice! Whew, I thought I was. <laughs> had to go all the way around again. Thank God. See him over here. We can't get over there, that's fine. Let's see. Another battle. And we're done. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind too much that I'm cutting out a little bit of the battles. I mean, it would get really tedious if you would have to watch every battle. I think at least, I mean. Free to think whatever you want. But how? Wait, what? Oh! Wow, that's really difficult to see. <laughs> Goddamn mushrooms. I think it would be cool if they added like effect where you could see them grow instead of just cutting away. But whatever, whatever, whatever. Doesn't matter that much. Let's see, there's a chest down here. There we are. Got this. And what do we have? It's a cool house in there too. Ooh, a punishing wolfram sword. Let me just take a look at that. 
hopefully a better sword too. Oh, that's way better. Great. It's so fun to get equipment in this game. I mean, there's so much different kind of equipment and it seems like you get upgrades a lot of the time instead of just sticking with the same sword <laughs> everywhere. Sit over. I guess we're going over there, so we're probably gonna get through here. And they're done! <laughs> here we go. I mean, it's basically just me cutting out the battles just gives the game a little bit of, of a better flow. In my opinion, at least. Um, because, I mean, you kind of get distracted if you're gonna watch somebody get into a battle, like, every time. Oh, it's the house we saw earlier. Oh. Whoa, they've been busy. Mm. So this is where they're making the trick die. Yeah, it looked a lot like the buildings over yeah. at the gambling counter. How shall we do this? Charging in? Shouting our heads off? Yeah. No. We can't draw attention to ourselves. We need to slip in undetected and find out what they're doing. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh huh? Hide ourselves. Some swabs are coming. Ah. Huh. Why did they have to build it so far away? <laughs> Fool. Any closer and the people of the city would surely discover it. <clears throat> They're from Goldpaw. They must be. Goldpaw Ooh. is the name of the place. I forget it all the time. Arr, I might find a D all of a sudden. <laughs> you know, I think I might be thinking what are you thinking. Think watch your finger on the finger on hey. Huh? What a great idea. Just beat the shit out of the poor half nude doggies. <sighs> Guess I should have expected as much from a pair of sky pirates. Mm. Are you sure this will work? Probably not. We're not dogs. The only human in their country is that uh, advisor that probably is like the last boss because he looks super evil. Oh. Only one way to find out, laddie. We'll keep watch out here. Off you go and sneak into their dice factory. Mm. Just don't be too long, alright? Yes. Guess we don't have much of a choice. Come on. Yeah, they stay behind. Cool. Woof woof. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Pew. I was sure I was gonna see it through our disguise. Hmm. I mean, with all that hair in front of me, said, yeah. surprised if he sees anything. Well, he didn't. Looks like this might w just work. Alright. We need at least two forms of proof. Why? Why? <laughs> the first is something. Touching pregnancy directly to the de deception. Some kind of documented evidence would be ideal. The next is evidence of how they manipulate the dice. My guess is that they're not using magic. Really? But how else could it be done? Oh, oh there are ways. <laughs> we have a few different techniques for manipulating things from a distance where I'm from. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody here has come up with something similar. Yes. All right, let's find that proof. Ah, let's do it. These disguises should help us get close to the people who work here. Maybe we can pick up some clues. Wow, that's cool. Okay, I am a little gambling boy. Hello. Let's see. No. So you made it today, friend? Oh, you're a human. These people are human. What the hell? Jesus, he looks crazy. <laughs> or he, I don't know. How many dices have you made today, friend? I'm feeling especially productive. I think I might even break my daily record. Okay, so this is the place they're probably making 
It's a huge pile of trick dice for use in the casino. Yeah, right. You don't have to ha seem to have anything to do with the Lady Luck die, though. Okay. So this room probably just have a break room or a way to make the other die. Let's see. Kind of the same here, though. Let's listen to this guy. Hmm? This? Oh, it's a proposal suggestion. If you approve it of our basic dice mm. design. We cannot go on making the same old thing forever. After all, we should be seeking out new ideas, ideas all, the, all the while. All the while? Isn't it all the time? Hmm. Hi. You must excuse me. I'm rather busy at the moment. I must assemble all the necessary documents in order to pr process the factory accounts. Ugh. Sometimes I regret using, choosing to work in an accounting department. Constantly hounded by everybody and never a word of thanks. Oh, this is a man. <laughs> Golpo has long been famous for his tricks and contraption, you know. This is our job to take all this knowledge and use it to create even more exciting dice. And only we high officials of the realm are permitted to privilege our work with them. Such an honor, such a great honor. He said though. Mm. <laughs> there, all the dice meet the required standard. And that is this week's quota match. I know it's time to relax. Arf arf. Okay, he's spoken to everybody in here, right? Oh, he's spoken to you. Nah. You there? Have you seen my blueprint? Hmm. You don't even know what a blueprint are. Ah, forgive me. I should have taken better care of them. Okay, so he has. Nah. No, I don't want to speak to him. There's nothing incriminating. Here. Oh, oh, I can go around searching things. I didn't know that. So can I? Plenty of notes of order materials to go on. Anything wrong, right? But we gotta find that guy's blueprints. Probably. Oh, okay. Look at this. It was in the drawer. This pugnacious signature at the bottom. Hmm. It looks like an instruction on what he wants to build. I'm guessing these were supposed to be destroyed. Luckily for us, somebody didn't do the job. Well, that's certainly undeniable proof. Wonderful. It sure is. Mm. We still need one more piece of proof. The device of manipulating Lady Lux's dice that you were talking about. There must be a prototype of a spear somewhere around there. Let's ask around. But I haven't really done that. Okay. I'm guessing these guys won't have any. No. I mean, what is this thing? Uh, <laughs> not something I would think I would find in a dice factory. Let's see, let's look at this guy. Mm hmm? Hmm? Ha, how dare you? I'm not idle, idling. I, I have something very important to do. What about you, hmm? Shouldn't you not be getting back to work also? Jesus, calm down. Calm down? Oh, my god, Evan. Interesting update, nothing. Oh, I thought it was a guy. Come on. No. Same guy as before. Hmm. My superior told me recently that, despite the purposes to the contrary, these devices are not actually powered by magic. He says that, in fact, they rely on technology that we import from other kingdom. I'm not sure I believe him. It looks like magic to me. Oh. Mm. No. Don't speak to him again. It looks like some kind of control unit. There's no way you'll be able to sneak it out from under the worker's nose. This might be another one lying around somewhere, though. Okay, so I'm just gonna be... There's one right there! <laughs> Great. Oh. Roll, look! This is a bit. And based on all this stuff, it looks like uh, what I thought. A remote control for the deluxe die. <laughs> it's just like you said. Uh. A lucky guess. Anyhow, Pugnacious must have one of these. So, this is how he keeps the taxes so high, and how he stole Nils' forest from him. It sure seems that way. And it's also how we're going to make him pay. Yes. That's everything we need. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's.
Unauthorized intruder detected. Initiate attack sequence. Tani, Batu. <laughs> Sorry. Looks like we got tra rumbled. What's this horrible thing doing here anyway? I don't like our chances, girlie. Ugh, they're trapped. Then we have to help them. <laughs> In our robes. Wow, this one is cool. Let's see if we can do something with our abilities. Holy shit, that takes so much damage. Wow, that's a lot of coverage. Oh, thank you for hearing me. I mean, it's quite easy, you just tank the hits there and then... Oh! Cannon! <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> Keep going, Cannon! As soon as it stops, if you will, there you go. God damn it. Hit me. And let's get it. Oh, so close. Let's just throw some magic after me. <laughs> oh, if you could hear me, that would be great. And we're done. <laughs> it's not really being. That much of a difficult boss up to this point. Phew. I thought my goose was co cocked for there for a second. Cocked. Oh my god. Looks like the people in the factory didn't notice the racket either. We got lucky there. Oh. But did you find your precious proof? <laughs> yes. We found the device Pugnacious used to control the dice movement. Oh. Ah! That's the stuff, lad! Now we can hang the swindling dog out to dry! Ah, uh, we sure can. With this thing to help us, we'll be able to expose him for the fraud he is. Even. <laughs> Even? Evan, I need you to be sure you're okay with what we're about to do. We'll be interfering directly in another country's affair. If it doesn't go well for us, things could get ugly. And if they go really bad, you could be making an enemy from an, of an entire nation. Are you willing to take that risk? Stealing from one's own people is unforgivable. We cannot stand by and let it happen. <coughs> but we have to save that die to our kingdom so we can... <laughs> we have to give the citizen of Goldpo their country back. Yeah. As a spirit, I mean, lad. <coughs> yeah, I know you wouldn't let him walk all over there. All over them. <laughs> you grow more kindly, kingly by the day, your majesty. Yes. You really are starting to sound like a king, you know that? Alright, our leader has set out uh, his policy. Go. And now is the time to implement it. Ooh, we got a new bow. That's fantastic. <gasps> Look in the corner! I didn't see you before now! Hello there! Yes? Give you what I like, uh huh? Talking about the mushrooms, I find the sticky slimy gunky ones. Ugh. The muck toadstools, maybe? Or maybe just the gunk stools? The gunk stools, yes. Do you like the gunk stools? He loves it! <gasps> oh my god, he's so cool! Mutton Bane, the mushy. 
cool! Where is he? Do I have to equip him? Oops. Not that button, that button. Let's see, party. Wait, what? Oh, we can also only have four. Four of them equip. Okay. Do you want whiff waff or do you want... I don't know. Higgle the heel, Ghostbuster, Higgle the fan, hard guard. I probably want that guy actually. Whiff waff has been healing me a lot. <laughs> and we have to have the cannon. Look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> Where are you, Mushroom Head? There you are! <laughs> We're such a colorful group. Let's see. I saw a chest over here. There we go. Ooh, cool. A lot of new equipment. I'll have to maximize that. Between episodes! Thank you so much for joining me in this episode. We got a lot done. We figured out how they were trolling us with the die and cheating their country. And in the next one, we'll be going back to Goldpaw to free the citizen. Thank you so much for watching this one, and I'll see you back at Goldpaw in the next one. Bye!